Hello ladies and gentlemen, Seiko Starcraft back with one of his games, the infamous ZVZ matchup that I'm sure everybody loves more than I do. Trying to get back a little bit more into my ladder gaming. Played actually maybe even six games this week. I'm, that's actually pretty good for me. Just so that way I can get a little bit more commentary on some of my bottom dwelling games that I have from the gold and the platinum league, whatever Blizzard wants to place me in. So we're going to be opening up a little bit different in this one. I kind of have the intentions of putting on a bit more pressure at the beginning. Not cheesy I'm going to win pressure, but just pressure that's going to allow me to get a bit of a lead. Mm, excuse me. So I'm going to try to get out a slight bit of an economy lead. I'm going to do a quick little extractor cancel, get a drone out a little bit faster. Then I'm really got the intentions on going down and getting myself pool a little bit quicker than I'm assuming my opponent will. Gonna get my gas first because I actually want to be able to go for speed a little bit quicker though we'll see how important that is here in a moment. And then I'll be going to get myself a pool right away. So we've got essentially like a 12 gas 12 pool because I threw my, my gas slightly late. He is going to be going for a 14 pool so he's really not that far behind me in general see the overlords moving around there doing pretty good mine are on their way as well and I'm starting to take my gas up on this side no gas on this side because the guy's playing the kind of opening I would generally do except he is joining up a little bit more before expanding than I normally would see two drones actually going out now looks like one is the scout and one's probably going to be to expand just waiting for my pool to pop pool to pop sounds like a great like Michael Jackson song pool to pop Anyways, pool will to finish up. As soon as it does, I'm going to get myself six lings. I am going to see about how well these are going to get scouted on the way out as well. I didn't even see this drone pop in here. It's not going to matter too much. I had to do a drone cancel to be able to get my queen out early as well. But at the same time as Sam, the difference is I have lings on the way and he has a hatch on the way. So I'll come to six lings. He does see this. We're both supply blocked at this moment anyways. We both did the same trick. I did see this drone here. And this guy immediately cancels his hatch. And comes home. Throws down a gas. Throws down two crawlers. And tries to get out some lings. So already this actually, without even having killed anything, has, has been pretty successful. Back over on my side, I actually don't really have any intentions on getting myself out. I'm going to try to shoot away that drone. I don't really have any intentions on getting out any type of extra aggression behind this. The one fault I have at this point though is unfortunately I have a bunch of gas built up and I hadn't gotten my speed immediately. I did pull my drones off of gas happily though that was a little bit late. I'm just droning up behind this. I should be getting my speed here. There we go. There's my speed. So my speed is way behind when I wanted to have it. But I have a great vision of what's going on over here going to be sending overlords to each of the main ways that he can get out and if we look at the units tab we see that I've actually got a pretty big lead right now when it comes to my workers and this guy's not going to say afraid but he doesn't want to get caught out here he doesn't know if I have speed on the way if I've got more stuff popping but what we see for him he's actually got a ton of zerglings ready on that side and I really have just been droning up with speed I did go up there and pop in for a scout and I saw what was coming at me. I saw that it looked a little bit dangerous. Just shoot away a overlord. I'm getting myself a baneling nest. My intention is to kind of go low tech on this. I see all these zerglings coming out. I don't know when his speed's going to finish. I'm going to throw down a couple emergency crawlers. going to start... I just actually put out a big round of drones as well so I'm a little bit delayed on when I want to get my lings. Queen's going to start popping back here. Got creep up to the front. Gonna inject one more time and bring my other queen around. I see these lings moving across, and happily for me, they're still slow. And that's that's actually really, really important. Behind this, he's droning up smartly as well, but he doesn't have his hatch started yet, whereas I do. Waiting for a few more lings to start. My speed is finished before his. I want to have my queens as part of the action in here. I'm taking advantage of this opportunity that my speed's done faster, so I'm actually going to try to attack down. 
all of his units as uh, much as I can. He does finally turn and fight when his speed is done, but he loses essentially all of his zerglings. And he's throwing down a hatch. I'm throwing down a few more lings, moving my crawlers to the front. Now I have two queens to inject at home. I actually kind of like this build opening. I thought it worked out pretty well. Though this opponent, I would say, did a little bit overreact to it. Did get the cancel on the hatch and another drone kill. Baneling Nest is finished, and a few more lings we can go to the front to defend. And I'm forcing him, importantly, to keep building attacking units instead of getting economy. So if we look at the actual worker count, he managed to pull a lead off during all of that. Baneling Nest as well. Whereas for me now, I'm just going to start building up drones again. But I did get myself massively supply block. He's getting himself out a pile of drones. I do have some banelings in place. I'm running around to scout for another base because it almost seems weird that he doesn't have one yet. Creep moving around nicely. Getting myself some more gas. Overlord's about to pop. And I should be able to start droning it pretty heavily. Doing a little bit of dancing. It probably have been worthwhile for him to send a few you know, Zerglings just to try to kill off those Banelings. With the Banelings at the front, obviously he can't go in pressure as well. But he's going to make a pile of Banelings behind this to try to keep up. On my side, 11 workers because I finally got out of Supply Block. Creep on the way. A couple of Crawlers to deal with run buys and Scouts. And I'm moving some Zerglings around the map just to be able to see of any hidden expansions. I do see the one Baneling pop out. Sometimes it can be cheeky and actually catch people off guard. I'm not going to fall for this, obviously, and going to be able to take this out. In his mind, he should have some overlords out here to see what's going on. There's nothing I would have likely at this stage of the game that would be able to stop him from seeing that. And I'm a total fucking idiot, because for some reason my hatch is not rallied. At least I caught it pretty quick to my mineral line. So units-wise, I end up taking a huge lead in workers, getting up my lair. I'm running in an overlord to see what's going on. I most importantly want to see if he's on lair attack. I see the main links. I don't see roaches yet. Just lots and lots and lots of links. That guy gets shot down, but no big deal. Gonna do a bit of a wall off at the front just to be sure. My roach warren is finished up. Lair is about to be finished as well. And I've actually got myself a pretty good, pretty good drone saturation going on right there. I'm okay with that. Oh, shut up, achievements. Uh, internet. Smash. And I I traded away two links for two Bane links, which is really nice. So he's actually going to go hide them now. It's very important. I'm just dancing around with my stuff. I have more Bane links available to keep going. There's... Oh, my Rotorn hadn't even gone down yet. I just had my lair. Building myself a bunch of Overlords because I'm supply blocked again. Eight more workers. Sending my stuff back home. On his side now... You can see his supply is not that far behind me, though we're both terrible keeping ahead on our supply. He's about to bust out a whole bunch of roaches and drones at the same time. So, starting my plus one missile, keeping my injects going. And for me now, I've actually got a pretty good worker lead. It's more important for me to start worrying about getting out my roaches when my roach warrant is finished. I really wanted to go just... Did another couple trades for Brain Links. I really wanted to go mass, mass um, Zerglings in this, but because he's going such a huge Baneling against me, I actually can't afford to do that. I still have great vision. I'm bringing my stuff back home so they don't get caught. Moving up to a third base, which he should see. Not quite, but maybe he could guess. He's still on one base. Seven Roaches on the way. Excuse me. So we'll see in the units count. Still a little bit behind on the overall army supply. Just because of the amount of stuff he's been building. He's building an all-in attack. He's not worried about getting out another base. Otherwise he would have got it already. And I understand that. So for me now, I want to get up another base. So that way I can obviously keep moving with that. But I have two hatch production on roaches that I want to keep rolling with. Upgrades, starting my speed. Apparently it is time for him now. And I see this moving out and it's actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be at this stage. It looked like he was going over the north route. And I actually lost track of the army for a second. That it actually goes along the south. A couple more crawlers going down just for defense. I've got actually a macro hatch as well. Because I've got tons of money I need to spend. It's actually more about a, a question of larva for me. Another seven roaches in production. So I managed to be able to run into there. And see if I can get some damage done. I've got 11 roaches to his 14. 30, three links to his 30, 
and seven bane links to his 12. So I'm actually quite a bit further behind than I thought I'd be at this point. I did save these workers though at least and sent them home. But now it's me about pumping out roaches and roaches and roaches. That hatch I know is already going to die. That doesn't bother me too much. Roaches in the front to be able to deal with it. Units wise, my roach count now is ahead of his just slightly. I'm going to send in two banelings. Yes. Yes. He did. Banelings get into the front and took out most of his roaches, so most of his zerglings and banelings. Now I've got plus one roaches against the zero zero roaches. And it is a walk over there. It was an interesting way of playing it. I think I cut that much closer than I needed to. But there's this great, because I actually just, if I look at units, I just had a whole bunch of roaches just pop as well. There's this thing that people say that what you want to do is just barely be able to hold when it is so that somebody attacks you. In this case, that was kind of that way it was. So if we look at the actual economy, my economy was double his. I still have great defenses up. I have upgrades on the way. I have a lair. And I actually had, you know, an army that was going to come on time. So I was in every position that if I held that off, there was no way he could compete. And obviously, he just GG's out. He doesn't even try to expand or play out some kind of silly game. Pretty fun, pretty fast, a little ZVZ. I was actually really happy with my build on that, though it needs a lot of polishing. I uh, hope you guys like that as well, and we should have some more games for you in the next little bit.